What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So this video, I'm going to be basically going over how to uninstall this summer <clears throat> out of this uh, this uh, vehicle. Now, um, what I'm doing is I'm restoring a classic car. And this summer will be installed in that, in that vehicle that I'm restoring for myself. Uh, I am restoring a 1986 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. And what I'm doing is, like I said, this sunroof is going to come out of this car and it's going to go into that car. So uh, this the, the Caprice does not have a sunroof right now. So uh, this is going to be a full uh, custom job. And um, it's not really a lot of work to do. It's, it's fairly easy. You just need a couple of things or whatnot to do it. So, but today I'm just going to go over uninstalling this one and uh, just a couple of things that you will need. And um, you're going to probably, well, you, you're going to need a set of these right here. And these are, uh, let's see, these are star socket bits. So, uh, I tried to use um, like hex keys, um, but they just, it's not gonna work. So uh, sometimes you can get away with, you know, using something like that, um, you know, and it'll still turn it, but it's not gonna work. And if you try to make it work, it's gonna screw up the, the, the head on the bolt. And then, you know, it's going to be tough, you know, trying to do any maintenance on it because it's going to be hard to come out. I've done this before with other vehicles. I've screwed up screws. And then when I'm trying to do maintenance work on something, it's just a tough job to get bolts in and out. And, um, you know, it's going to be a task trying to find someone to have that bolt that size. You know what I mean? It's going to be a task finding it. So just get the right tools to do the job with. Um, I also went and picked up a set of these right here as well. Um, because like I said, um, it's just really gonna help the job out trying to uninstall some things. So basically, let's get right into it. So you're gonna have in this particular vehicle, there's two bolts on the left side and there's two bolts on the right side. Okay, once those four bolts are uninstalled, the glass itself will come out. Okay. That part's done. Simple. All right. Now, once that part comes out, you're going to have the track that the window rides on, the sunroof itself that it rides on. So, um, I don't know exactly what uh, bolts those are going to take yet because I can't really see it until I take the glass off. Um, so, I'm pretty sure something is holding that down. It's either going to be the same type of bolts full of head flat head um but anyway you got some bolts there that's gonna have to come out to take the track off all right now once the track is off then there's gonna be the connection to work there some roof that opens it closes it so there's a plug there and all cars are different so but they're similar so there's a plug there um that has to be unplugged and then there's a couple of bolts there to to undo the motor um and then um like i said that all will come out so um so like i said that that part is fairly easy or whatnot like i said all vehicles are different but they all pretty much work the same so what you're gonna what you want to do what you want to start at you're going to start with taking that glass off first okay i've seen some cars have three bolts on each side so that's six bolts so basically like i said the bolts are going to be um once you open the sunroof you're going to see the bolts sometimes you can see it with the sunroof closed but you're going to want to tilt the sunroof not open it let it back and I mean, you know, people that are new to this, you know, they may not know. So tilt the sunroof, uninstall those bolts, take the glass out first. Once you take the glass out, then the second step is to take out the track. Third step, you're going to want to uninstall the motor and the button that works it. 
and anything else that you're going to need in there to make this thing function. All right. I'm taking everything out of this car because it's going in my other car and I want to make it a power sunroof like in here. So, like I said, uh, you know, once I put it in, I'll be able to push the button and, and open it, close it, tilt it, all of the above. And um, I may even take the little uh, the cover so I can close it up and open it as well. Um, and then I'm looking at this dome light in this car. I really need a dome light for my car. My car is an 86. So it's old and the dome light isn't even, isn't even there no more. I mean, it has it doesn't have the cover there. It just has the place for it to put one of those old bulbs in. So I may just take this and just install it, like I said, and just make it look a little bit more modern in the inside. So I may just do that. And then I also, I may even take that third brake light and put that in there as well. I'm not sure because it looks kind of, you know, different. Um, so I may try that just to see how it looks. If it looks good, I may keep it. If not, I just may... Just do away with it but anyway um so that's that's um how the sunroof comes out and um if anybody has any uh questions drop a comment down below and um like i said uh tools you're probably gonna need um i'm not sure exactly all the tools but um i have a hook and pick set i have the star socket bit set um i have a one two three four five six seven eight piece set i'm not sure exactly what size it is yet but i have an eight piece set um and sizes are ranging from 10 t 15 20 25 27 30 40 and 45 those are the sizes that i have um and so uh like i said not sure exactly what size it is but i'm 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 100% sure that one of these sizes is going to fit. And I am almost certain that it's probably going to be the uh, 25. But um, this is a brand new set. I'm going to see if I can open it now. And that way I can give you guys that information. At least you'll know what size you're going to need. You may not want to go buy a whole set. So if... Um, you know, if you know the size, then you don't have to buy the whole set. So, like I said, give me one second. Let me try to get these things open. And then we can figure out what size we need. Um, so, give me one second. Because these ones are really small right here. This is 10 and a 15. And I say that I think that it may be a 20. But honestly, the 20 may not even fit either. The 20 fits. Um, but it's a little wiggly. I like for it to fit snug. So let's see if this uh let's see if this 27 will fit. I think the 27 is gonna be too big. Yep, the 27 is too big. So it was a 20. So it's a T20. That's what size boats this vehicle fits a T20. And that's how the uh, glass is going to get uninstalled with a T20. And um, so, like I said, that's the first step to take a T20 and, um, and you uninstall the glass first. Then you're going to uninstall the track. And then you're going to uninstall all the hardware, such as the motor and the uh, button that works it. You're going to uninstall all of that. Um, so it's pretty easy. Like I said, anybody has any questions at all, drop a comment down below. And um, if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like and share this video. I know it's a ton of people out here that's trying to do this. So share this video with your social media. Share it with your friends. Like I said, it's a lot of people that um that's trying to do jobs like this so just share the video you know a friend may know a friend that that wants to do it so just share the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already y'all stay tuned for more videos my caprice build is in motion so y'all stay tuned